What is up, everybody? I'm here with a video kind of going over the changes to Rep Power Gaming 7.2.5. Um, I know I made a video kind of like this a couple weeks ago, but they've made some more changes since then that I'm going to go over. So yeah, I'm just going to go over everything and then I'm going to be talking about my opinions on the changes and everything. So first off, most of our abilities got a 4% damage slash healing buff. Except for, oh no, this is what I do. So yeah, that's, I mean everyone kind of got something like that, so that's interesting. Uh, the first big change is Divine Hammer is getting nerfed. Um, it used to be 90% of your weapon damage, and now it's 68% of your weapon damage. Which I feel like just makes the spec completely useless, because even as is, you can almost do the same DPS with single target as you can with Divine Hammers. So with the 22% nerf, it is not worth using in my opinion. But I feel like Red's still going to okay, I'm going to go over the next one first and then talk about this. So the next one is Lawbringer is getting nerfed. So you no longer have the Judgment debuff up at all times, pretty much. It makes it so that all it does now is the 5% damage to targets that have the judgment that that have been judged before. So that's gonna be a really big nerf because I don't think you're gonna even run Lawbringer now that it's this bad. Uh, with the changes to the other talents, the other ones are probably gonna be way better. And but I still feel like Red's gonna be able to cleave pretty well. I mean, if you're playing a class that you're gonna, your main goal is cleaving, you may still play Lawbringer. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if we actually needed that nerf, in my opinion, because the other, like, one of the big problems with Red was that you really didn't have too much talent diversity most of the time. You're usually stuck in like the same thing, change maybe one or two things at most. Um, and this kind of just making it so that you're back in the same situation because it's not like you can pick Lawbringer Because the other one just out tears it infinitely more now but Yeah, uh, now the other one that Is Hammer of Reckoning Now whenever you use Hammer of Reckoning you get wings for 12 seconds or Crusade for 6 I don't know why it's Crusade for only 6. I feel like that doesn't make any sense to me But whatever it's that's this is a huge change this is gonna be so fun to play next patch so pretty much you're gonna have first setup you normally wings and second setup you should have your hammer reckoning stacks up quite a bit and then you use that you get your wings for 12 seconds during your setup and then third setup you have nothing but then fourth and fifth setup you have your what else back here again Sorry if it just like random glitches a bit. Uh, this website's really laggy for some reason, I'm not sure why. So yeah, this is a huge change and it's on the same tier as Lawbringer. So I don't think Lawbringer is going to be worth using since Hammer Breaking is actually going to be so good next patch. So yeah, I, I, that Hammer Breaking just seems so cool now. But I feel like if Lawbringer was kept the same and it could actually like compete with Hammer Breaking in certain situations, like if you're playing a cleavy comp where you're just trying to rot everything, you play Lawbringer, but if you're playing a Brisk comp like Red Hunter, you're gonna play Hammer Reckoning. But now it's just Hammer Reckoning is the best one overall. And um, okay, next up is a pretty sizable nerf. Blessing of Sanctuary is now a minute cooldown. And then I'm gonna go over the next one too before talking about that. And Seraphim's Blessing now instead of giving you Wings Brock. It makes it so that your next flash of light is instant when you drop under 40% and you can do this once every 15 seconds. Okay, so the sack nerf is obviously huge. It's understandable though because sack was a really, really strong ability. It pretty much counters a bunch of uh, classes like priests. You can get every single one of their fears. And warrior, you can get warrior fear. But I don't know. Without Sack, I feel like Red's gonna be in trouble in a lot of situations because we're so squishy that we kind of need it to stay alive. So I feel like we're either gonna need to get some sort of mobility buff or versatility buff or something like that because we take way too much damage to not have Sack on a 30 second cooldown. 
Um, then for Seraphim's Blessing, I don't think it's going to be worth using. If it was the old version of it, it would actually be worth using in combination with like Hammer Reckoning because you could end up having your wings up like almost all the time, which would be really cool. But yeah, so Blessing Sanctuary is probably still going to be the best to use in my opinion. I don't think Vengeance Aura is worth using. It's just way too small. Um, yeah, I, I think Ritz probably going to be really good still because its damage is the same and Ritz damage is nuts and now we also have wings, a second like charge of wings every minute, which is insane. Uh, you're probably going to have to force a pillar more and wait for your cooldowns to be up. Uh, I feel like Ret BM Hunter might be really good because you'll pretty much have wings for every single time they have Beastral Wrath. Which is really good. Uh, it's just I feel like Red's gonna be way you know, Red's gonna be way squishier than it was before now with the sack nerf. Since you won't have anything to get your healer out of probably like the second setup, so you could just die second setup now, which is kind of scary. And you know the only defensive thing they gave is surface blessing, and that looks terrible. So yeah, hopefully they, like, it's probably going to be like this once it goes live, um, but maybe we'll, there's a chance that they will give us some sort of mobility or versatility nerf uh, as the season goes on. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm probably going to be doing another video like this soon, just going over all the rest of the classes. That I find, I, I might just go over all, I'm not sure if I'm going to go over all of them, or if I'm just going to go over the ones that I find interesting. Um, probably the ones I find interesting, and like the big changes, the ones I want to play, stuff like that. So yeah, peace.